Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know Mason & Sons. We've done a lot of videos about them, from the Anthony Sinclair suits, the Goldfinger suit, to saving my bacon around Secret Cinema and giving me a, an amazing, amazing ivory tuxedo jacket. I mean, the guys get around. And David Mason and Elliot Mason really do spearhead everything around Mason & Sons of London. Well, they've come out with something because this brand, if you remember, what they do is they take inspiration. They take James Bond as a historical legacy, as a connection, an emotional one, um, a, a design, a fashion, a style one for all of us. And they take that inspiration and they kind of do their own thing, which a lot of brands are doing. And I love that they're doing that. Well, I'm wearing something that they've done and we've all kind of been wanting and waiting and asking for. We have a camp collar shirt as inspired by Connery from Thunderbolt. We have a whole line of them. So today we're gonna to be talking about three of my favorite from this collection. We'll give you the link down below so you can go there and get your own, but we're here to talk about this one. First of all, let's hearken you back to the scene that this was inspired from. So you've got Bond who comes to Largo's pad, Palmar, which a lot of you know, um, some of you have actually gotten into and explored the location. And he gets there and they have an incredible exchange, a lot of pithiness, a lot of witty, but they get to know each other. It's that old style Bond where Bond could actually connect and pretend that he's not James Bond in front of the bad guy. I love some of the lines that they have. And of course he sees Domino in all her glory. This shirt is highlighted, by the way, detail, detail, detail alert. Um, I, I walked down, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get it out. Hey, hey. I've got the nearly correct sandals that he's wearing, plus those kind of um, linen chinos that he wears as well. I'm trying to put the whole outfit together so you can really get a look of what this is. First of all, I'm going to cheat, because he's getting old. Uh, this is something I'm taking right from Matt Spazer, the Suits of James Bond's information, because he's done a lot of research on the actual one. So this is one of Sean Connery's best and most popular warm weather casual outfits. The one he visits, obviously, to Palmyra. The camp shirt is a butcher stripe in a blue gray on white. This is uh, almost like a, a lighter blue. So it is important to talk about some of these differences. This is 100% cotton, but it's sear sucker cotton. Let's see if we can get up close so you can see some of the sear sucker. Sear sucker, it's got a wonderful puckering. Oh my gosh, it's 92 degrees out right now, and this feels amazing. Not that it's 92 degrees in here, but I'll be heading out there soon. It has a camp collar, cuff short sleeves, breast pocket, split yoke, side vents, it's a little bit longer in the back. Got it. Uh, the shirt has a straight fit through the body, which still looks very good without showing, uh, without showing Connery's V-shaped torso. All right, let's talk about that. And by the way, he goes on to talk about cream linen shorts. We're gonna go back to Matt's page soon. Thank you, Matt, for providing us all this amazing detail. But there are some differences. Now, uh, first of all, the Connery one on Connery fits a little bit looser. Now, I am wearing a size small. I usually do take a size small. I like the way it fits. But you can see that right now, my biceps, they used to popping. Um, so for those of you that, that are a little bit thinner than me, maybe don't have as much mass, It'll be perfect. This still feels good. I can still fit. I'm going to pull it so you can see. I could still fit two fingers in there and it'll probably stretch and give even a little bit more. So I wouldn't want it um, any tighter, certainly. Maybe a hair bit looser. But the way it fits in the body feels great. The seersucker is amazing. Let's take a look at the back. We always do. Uh, you can see how it fits in the back. Now, arguably, arguably, maybe won't none of you will argue I could have probably taken a medium and it would have been a little bit looser and that's just not how I wear things but it may have been a little bit more congruent to that 1960s kind of loose billowy feel but I still feel billowy in this it feels great uh, it still has that connection it's one of my favorite scenes from Thunderbolt mostly because of that amazing interaction that they have but this isn't the only camp collar that Connery wears in that film Okay, 
second shirt. This is a blue gingham, again 100%, but a blue checkered gingham. Let's get up close so you can see that blue. And this particular one, uh, let, me, let me go back. There's a reason I'm holding this Voigt mask right here. This is the part where Bond is with Felix. And he's wearing the blue bathing suits with the blue gingham check top. He's on the helicopter and they're looking obviously for the Vulcan bomber. And he's wearing this outfit. Now it's an interesting point because if you remember back to the scene, there's a lot of blue going on. You got the blue of the ocean. You've got a blue of the mask. Um, Bond winds up taking the shirt off and then he goes diving in to, to check out the Vulcan bomber. But it's interesting, in the 60s, they were very matchy-matchy. I mean, think about it. They had this blue with the blue trunks. Nowadays, I don't know if I would pair that together. That's a lot of blue. That's a commitment in blue. And I love me some blue. You love you some blue. Is that right, grammar-wise? Who knows? But I, it's just a lot. It's a lot, but it's a great shirt. Um, again, let's go back to Matt Spazor's Amazing Bible of Bond. That's what he should rename it, Bible of Bond. Why am I saying it like Jackie Mason? As the weather gets warmer, it's time to look at summer clothes again. In Thunderball, Sean Connery briefly wears a camp shirt in blue and white gingham, a check that's great for summer in any type of a shirt. The shirt has a camp collar, an open breast pocket, a straight hem with side vents, shoulder pleats in the back, and other than the color, the shirt's the same as the pink and white gingham shirt, which we will get. Don't rush us, Matt. All right, let's get up and close and personal so you can see the color here. Again, you've got that really good bicep fit. I really like it. Uh, those of you that are a little bit thinner, I think you'll have a little bit more give here. I still have some. But in the back, check out that pleat. That's that pleat that Matt was talking about. And you've got this wonderful kind of straight type of look to it that's really good, very flattering. This is a size small. Just to give you my measurements again, because I didn't do that at first, I've got a 40, I've got a 31. Um, this may almost be like a 40, 41 now, doing a lot of P90X3, hashtag Bond25 Fitness Challenge. But the reality is, is that this fits really good. I don't think I would want a medium because it's just not how I wear things. Again, going back to the 1960s, might get that look. Here it is from the side. I'm not gonna hunch forward. I'm working on my posture. All right, here it is from the side. And here it is from the back. Again, check out the details and the pleats. You've got that little notch at the bottom and we'll come in one more time to see that fabric real close because that seersucker is amazing. I mean, the reality is when you hit the heat, this wicks away a lot of the moisture. That puckering helps to really um, get rid of the heat as well as to cool you off at the same time. I've got a barbecue tomorrow. I'm wearing one of these. Which one? I don't know yet, but I will find out soon. Okay, last one. Here we go. Now, uh, put a lot of detail here. First of all, let me get up close. I've got the Curry and Paxton sunglasses. Those are the, the correct sunglasses that Connery wears in the scene where he's wearing this outfit. And who brings them to you? Yeah, Mason and Son. No surprise. So the Curry and Paxton glasses really finish off a very classic 1960s outfit. Again, there's a lot of one color here. We've got the pink linen shorts tied to the pink white and pink, uh, pink and white gingham seersucker shirt. We're gonna get up close so you can see that coloring real good. We'll get there. And you can see that, that seersucker fabric, which just feels amazing. Now, let's harken back to that scene because it's a very cool scene. First of all, Bond is with Domino's. They're canoodling on the beach. He's wearing those very short pink linen uh, bathing suit and he's got this uh, shirt on it's kind of open, he's kind of relaxed. He's on the beach after all with Domino, his love squeeze at the moment. And sure enough, they are stalked by the baddie and he takes the spear gun, he picks it up and That's as good as the sound effects get. Let's see if Joe Darlington can do anything with that sound. Hopefully not, I don't know. But Bond and his spear gun do the trick and that famous line. I think you got the point. It's a great scene. It's an amazing scene. I mean, come on, it's, it's iconic. I don't care if you're into Daniel Craig more, if you're into uh, Lazenby, that is an amazing scene and it's an iconic moment of Bond. So this becomes, ergo and vis-a-vis, -vis, an iconic shirt. Let's talk about 
this shirt. And I love how Matt Spazer talks about this on his, uh, on his, uh, his site, bondsuits.com. Real men do indeed wear pink, who knew? Bond wears a classic pink and white gingham short sleeve shirt on the beach in Thunderball. The shirt has a camp collar, plain front, open breast pocket, a straight hem with side vents and shoulder pleats at the back. If you're wearing this shirt and someone tells you you're wearing a picnic tablecloth, <laughs> uh, remind them that the classic picnic tablecloth is red and not pink. Matt! Always with the wry humor, so pithy. This is a really great shirt. Now, I'm, I'm gonna put the spear gun down so it doesn't go off in my face, but let's get up close and personal. Again, you've got the great biceps, you've got the back, which I think fits very well. This is another size small. This is gonna give a little bit, but what I love about this is it's not too long. You know, it's not a dress shirt. I don't mean dress shirt. I mean a shirt that looks like a dress. Uh, some of these shirts, because of my height, sometimes I need to get them hemmed. This is perfect. Um, this like hits right down where the shorts should be because a camp shirt, a camp collared shirt should be relaxed. It's not, you know, kind of this cool polo that, you know, makes you look like you're running through the desert. No, it, it should be somewhat more relaxed. A lot of you could argue that maybe I should take a medium to make it even more relaxed, but I do like the fit of this. And the details themselves from the buttons, which I'm sure we won't get close enough to do that, to the pattern, to the seersucker, really fit the bill very nicely. And let's go back to this for a second. Somebody at Mason & Sons had a thought. Remember, this all starts with a spark. This didn't come off a factory line because of a calendar or because of an automated robot. This came off of a line because somebody said, you know something, the Bond community and people in general, they want things that are inspired by Bond. And Connery is so classic. And imagine if we took these camp collar shirts and we released them in the summer to the whims of all of us. And that's exactly what they did. So we wanted to do this review very quickly. Uh, we wanted to get it up quickly because what typically happens with these is uh, they sell out. I'll be very frank with you. Mason and Sons do not need this review to, to, to move these things because the Bond community has seen them. I think some sizes are already sold out. So if you do want to take advantage, go for it. Or if you just wanted to watch this video to see kind of how people are modernizing the Bond look and connecting and bringing it into our homes. Here, yes, here, even here in little old Pennsylvania. Who knew? But this has just been a quick little blurb. Anyway, I am, uh, so which one am I going to wear tomorrow? I, I may wear the stripe one. I think I'm going to wear the stripe one because that is just such a cool scene with Largo. It's so badass, you know, with the whole gun and I know something about women. Oh, choice. So I think I'm going to do that with God knows what else. Uh, probably linen pants. Who knows? You don't need to know. It's too much information. Anyway, just wanted to bring you this quickly. Show this off. Show it to you. Thank you again to Elliot and David. Save my bacon before. Have given us great things. Customer service beyond, beyond even the imagination. And of course, these lovely pieces that wind up in our haberdashery closet. So this has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.